Hello everyone and welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. I'm Sam Larson. The title of Pioneer Football League Coach of the Year belongs to St. Thomas' very own Glenn Caruso. His team also placed 16 players on the All-PFL team after the Tommies claimed the league championship in just their second year of Division I competition. I'm joined today by Coach Caruso and two Tommies from the All-PFL team, lineman Alec Rasmussen and defensive back Yusuf Leek. Thank you all for coming in today. Happy to be with you. So Coach, P PFL Coach of the Year, FCS coach finalists, how's that feel for you? It uh, feels great for us, but those are team awards. Everything in terms of success is communal. doesn't matter if it's a win, if it's a play, a touchdown, a sack, or an award. And that's one of the many things I love about these guys. So very happy. But that, that's a product of a lot of people working tremendously hard. It is not a single award. We all know that. For sure. Alec and Yusuf, you all made the PFL team. Uh, Coach said it was a team award. How does that feel from your guys' perspective as players getting those team awards? I would say the same, bouncing off a of coach. All, all, the, all the things that I do on the field bounces off my teammates. Um, the linebackers get into the quarterback, getting sacks. Same with the D-line, getting to the quarterback, getting sacks. And then leads to a bad ball and interception for me. So it's really just all a team effort. You know, going off what Yusuf said, I'm surrounded by a great group of guys on that offense this year. Um, we really showed what we were able to produce on the field this year, and um, I've got a great set of running backs back there that make me look great, and, you know, when things don't go perfectly my way, they, they tend to make me right and do the things that need to be done in order for us to be successful. So it's just a product of all we've done together as a group. And Coach, you got mm. you got to be proud of these guys. All, all you guys, all mm. 16 of them that made that team, what makes – your players just so special. Proud of all 110 of them and the 15 coaches. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why I truly love these guys, specifically this group. And if you think about their growth over 16 weeks, and that's a lot of growth to be able to do what we did. And shoot, back it up, Sam. If you look at 16 months ago, uh, we, we hadn't played a Division One game yet, you know. And to to go from where we were less than a year and a half ago, 128 out of 128 in the country. And to grow and focus on what our standards are every day to, to be who these young men are and the other 108 that aren't here and our 15 coaches, uh, just grateful and blessed. I mean, it, it, makes you feel, it makes you feel love just being in, in an environment that cares about each other that much. And that's what, one of the many reasons I love them. Alec and Yusuf, after such a historic season, going from 128 of 128, what are some things that might stick out about a season like that for you two? Um, I would say the process of just the whole season from working out in the spring to the, the summer to fall camp to having practices in the snow before the conference <laughs> championship. Uh, it was just the process and enjoying every time with my friends and my brothers. Yeah, um, for me it's just all the little things we get to do together as a group. Um, just taking taking it as that this was Yusuf and I's first full year here and um, just going through a full year of enjoying all the little things that this culture and this team had to offer for me and uh, just enjoying, you know, being part of a couple great home wins and being able to keep that legacy going of just winning at home and continuing to do things right around here and having other people uh, just be happy for us and enjoying the, just enjoying the brotherhood in this team that we built. So. And coach. Mm. Starting at D3, you had that long stretch of undefeated, moved to D1. You're still undefeated at home in the regular season. Going forward, looking forward to next season, what's it look like trying to keep that alive? Yeah, I'm not going to, I mean, shoot, we've been done with the season maybe a week and a half, right? So there'll be plenty of time to be able to unpack a lot of the things. I will tell you this, is that football is football, and good football and doing things right with the right people it uh, knows no level, it knows no league, it knows no state, it's simply what it is. And we've learned tremendously that culture matters, like how we care for each other, how hard we work for one another, that matters. If we were to try and make a move that no one has ever made and do so without a culture that was impeccable, we wouldn't have a shot. And I think that just speaks to, in a day and an age, all the more devoted to style over substance when you have 125 guys that are willing to buy into each other instead of what else could be out there, it's, it's as special as it gets. I would say borderline magical. And that's what we saw. And hopefully that raises the boats of not just our athletic department, but of our entire university. And we've started to see that in the last you know, several months of the attention that's given to the program. And uh, we're grateful for all of it, Sam. 
Sure, and it was certainly a lot of fun watching you guys. Did you so enjoy it? I loved it. It was great. <laughs> Very cool. Every game. Very so cool. Thanks for coming in, guys. And thanks for having us. Thank hey, thanks, Thank you. Be sure to follow along on TommyMedia.com and on social media at TommyMedia for more St. Thomas sports coverage. Thanks for watching with Coach Glenn Caruso, Yusuf Leek, and Alec Rasmussen. I'm Sam Larson. We'll see you next time in the locker room.